Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is to save responses from ChatGPT into Mem as new Mems. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free guide on building a second brain in Mem. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can save responses from ChatGPT to Mem. And the first step that is involved in doing this is creating an Airtable base with the information that we want to send to ChatGPT. And the reason that we have to do this is because right now, MEM only allows you to bring information into MEM using the Zapier integration, but it doesn't allow information to go out of MEM. So we have to put that information somewhere else. You could also use Google Sheets to do this, but I prefer Airtable just because of the fact that I have so many different automations built inside of Airtable already. What you'll see here is I have an Airtable base with a couple of different tables. One is the ChatGPT to MEM generator, and the other is an interview briefing generator. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the ChatGPT to MEM generator. And what I'm going to do is have it give me an outline for a blog post titled How to Automate Tedious Tasks Using ChatGPT. So once you set up your Airtable database, you could put in whatever information you want here, whatever fields you want. And keep in mind, a blog post is just one of many ways that you could use this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Zapier and we're going to set up an automation that triggers this whole process. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to tell Zapier that anytime there's a new record in Airtable, then it will kick off the automation. So we call that a trigger. And you can see here that I've chosen the base AI experiments. There are a number of other bases inside of my Airtable database, but in this case, we're going to choose AI experiments. And it's really important that you choose the right table. Otherwise, you're going to get your output end up being very mangled. So in this case, what we want to do is use our ChatGPT to mem generator. And we're going to go ahead and continue here. And you can see here that it already has this information. Normally, you would run a test. So I'm going to go ahead and move this forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this prompt. And I'm going to say, write an outline for a blog post about how to automate tedious tasks with ChatGPT. And then I'm going to give it some additional instructions that I already have and say, give me the outline with headers uh, in Markdown and a bulleted list because of the fact that MEM uses Markdown. So that way we don't have to have an extra step when we bring this into MEM. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press continue. And I'm going to go ahead and test the action. And what you'll see here in just a second is that ChatGPT will give us the outline right here. And this is really important because you want to make sure that you don't get your text end up being mangled. And now you can see here that it gave me this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this text from here and we're going to use it to create a new mem. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the output that ChatGPT gave us. And I'm just going to go ahead and say new mem just for the sake of making this easy to remember. And so I'm going to go ahead and basically choose the choices that it gave us. That's the output that you want to choose. You want to make sure you choose the output and not the prompt. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and test this. And what should happen is that it will create a new mem and it will land in your inbox. Sometimes there's a slight delay with this, so you just have to be patient. But let's go ahead and look inside of our inbox. This is an old version of that that I had created. Um, but you can see here that it should be here in just a second. What you can see here is that it gave us all of the text that came from ChatGPT, and we saved it inside of a new mem. We formatted it in bullet points, and you could format this however you wanted. You could actually have it say, make all of these sections as H2 headers, and the rest underneath as bullet points. So that's one example. Now, let's look at one more example. In the next example we're going to do is we're going to actually create a briefing for an interview with an upcoming podcast guest. So in this case, I've created a separate table titled the Interview Briefing Generator. In this case, we're going to pretend that Barack Obama is going to be a guest on The Unmistakable Creative. And once we have all the information inside of Airtable, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Zap. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to just take this existing Zap and we're going to change it so that we can have it use the other table. So it's going to use the same base, but we're going to change the table to Interview Briefing Generator. And you can see here that it has the guest name. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the prompt. So that way, it actually creates an interview briefing generator instead of a blog post outline. So we're going to go ahead and do and say, create a briefing 
for an interview on the Unmistakable Creative Podcast with Barack Obama. Generate a list of questions that might be worth asking. And then we're just going to bring back our instructions from before where we had the ability to say, okay, I also want this in Markdown uh, with bullet points. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run the same process again, and we're going to go ahead and test the action. And what we should see here in just a second is a list of questions to ask Barack Obama and a briefing. So there we go. We have the background, key messages, and now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and create a new mem from this. We're going to press continue. And instead of new mem, we're just going to say briefing for interview with, and we're just going to use the name of the guest. And we're going to go ahead and put a space here, so that way we have a little bit of space when we get it inside of our mem. And what we'll do now is go ahead and test the action. And in just a second here in our inbox in mem, we should see a briefing for an interview with Barack Obama. So now you can see here, we go into our inbox inside of MEM, and it gives us the briefing that we just created for an interview with the president. So this is actually a pretty cool way to save information from ChatGPT to MEM. Now, a couple of caveats here. You'll have to take the first response that you get. You can't do iterations. Uh, maybe you can. It might be a bit more complicated. But I wanted to give you a very simple way to do this. So you can basically save all the information. So just to recap all of the steps. The first step is going to be to create an Airtable base or a Google spreadsheet with your prompts and the information. Then you want to send the prompt to ChatGPT. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to take that response from ChatGPT and create a new mem from it. And again, I just gave you two potential use cases here, but there are several different use cases. The main thing being that you need to put the information somewhere like an Airtable base to save those responses. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.